everyone, Jason Leah back here again, and today I got some pretty exciting news about uh, the film industry. Um, so Warner Brother Pictures, Warner Brother Studios, have just announced and released a little video trailer for the upcoming slate of all their feature films, horror, action, drama, animation related, everything that they're releasing next year, that they're going to be putting all that in theaters still. They're still going to come out in theaters. But, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, in order for people to be safe, and if they want to watch the movies safe, they could watch them at home on the streaming service HBO Max, which is being run by AT&T, who bought out Warner Bros. Studios a while ago. That is exciting to me. They are going to boost subscriptions up. Like, yeah, say, say what you want about DC, and if they're in a bad state or not. I think they're in a fine state. Actually, more of a mixed state, actually. Birds of Prey, what a failure. And should they have done make that much money? But Aquaman and Wonder Woman and Joker were successful, so it's half and half. Um, but they're, but the fact that not just DC, but King Kong vs. Godzilla, The Conjuring, The Matrix, like all these movies are going to follow the same path as Wonder Woman. Be released in theaters, and then also on the same day, go to... HBO Max, and best part is, you get to watch them all for free. You do not have to pay an extra $30, unlike Mulan, and waste time on a possible bad movie. Like, that is good marketing right there. Disney, take note. If you want Black Widow and other feature films to be successful, do what you're doing with Soul. Do what you're doing with Soul, okay? And just put it on there for free. Like, it's not that hard. It's not that complicated. This is going, this is what will help you boost subscriptions. And HBO Max is going to be a huge rival against Disney Plus due to this news. They're going to make bank out of this. This is good. And the fact that they're also going to be releasing these movies in theaters also. If those movies are still profitable somehow in theaters. Like, I'm not sure if big movies like King Kong vs. Godzilla or Suicide Squad will be successful because those are big budgeted films. But smaller films like Tom and Jerry and Conjuring. Because there's a horror film, they don't spend as much money on that. They have better chances of making back their money. And so... With that, they're going to be also making more in the theaters along with their streaming service. And if those films are still success, successful, they're, they're they're going to thrive. Like that's the only thing they're going to have. They're going to thrive if this plan works. This is a plan that I feel like is going to work for HBO Max. And I know that now. I'm going to try and maybe. Get subscription next year. Maybe when Wonder Woman comes out, and I use my 14-day uh, free subscription and just test it out. I'm like, this is this is awesome news. Being able to watch these films at home, it's safe, safe and sound, and still be caught up in film. Like that's exciting for me. I, I cannot wait for these films to come out and watch them at home and not have to worry about getting sick in the theater. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.